All right. Um, okay. What was I doing? <laughs> I've already forgotten my train of thought. Um, these guys are are doing terrific. I think I actually... Uh, I think I need to start getting ammo up there. Mm, I don't know if I want to do like a full, full ammo carousel yet. I think I'm just going to go hand feed all these little baby turrets some more bullets. The nice thing is I can actually break this down here and repurpose these pieces up on the wall. Oh, yeah, you had a ton of ammo, too. What was that last song? Ted, that last song was uh, called Necromancin Dancin by Bear Ghost. Um, I kind of just stumbled across it on like my Spotify recommended last year, and it quickly became one of my favorite songs. It's fantastic. It's really fun, and it's super nerdy. Twitch used to have an extension um, that you could actually link your Spotify. So to have like a little pop up of like, hey, now playing. Um, but they disabled that. So kind of a bummer. Oops, since they're too far apart. All right, so those should all be full of ammunition now. All right, fantastic. So over here. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, okay, so over here, let's just do a little little summit like this. I need some more turrets. I think I'm just straight across here too. So let's do a one and a two. I don't want to put full ammo in those yet just because I don't have enough to feed all these turrets with full ammo. And I do want to be fair if I can. There we go. Okay, so now, oh, this is, this is fantastic. Look at this. Look at this fucking wall, boys. Okay, so we have there, 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 and then there. I almost want to just kill that and push up to here instead. Almost. What I should, however, do is get a radar up here. So then I can start scanning a little bit further up. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know, you know what? Can I build it? Yes, I can. I can make the big poles now. Great. Big poles can make the wire go long. They don't have nearly as big of a uh, service area, so to speak, but they they let you just really get power from one place to another very quickly. There it is. Okay, so now we have a radar up here. So this is good. So the radar provides vision, if anyone remembers, in addition to procedurally scanning the surrounding area square by square. Okay, so I feel pretty good about our northern border. I would rather have this wall be up here instead, but that's okay. Now the the western border, there's there's nothing over here, and that's great. Um, there can be things, things can like go and like, create nests and, and grow in there, but mm, they might not for a while. Southern border, our production hasn't spread too far or our pollution hasn't spread too far down here. So this is concerning, but it's not alarming. This is going to be the next problem as we push eastward with our bus. This is going to become a problem. So that's what we got to keep in mind. We're just getting... Uh, upgrade our bullets, make it a little bit more efficient. I can actually break this down as well now because we're done 
one of these. Typically what I end up doing when I'm making my base is essentially pushing out to like these choke points. Like what I would ideally do. This is cool. I like this. What I would ideally do. Oh, where are you going? Where you think you're going? Oh, nowhere. Um, <laughs> what I would ideally do is have like this wall here and like that wall there and really just be able to push up. I'd make sure I occupy all this so nothing can grow, and then I'd wall down here, and then probably here, and then kind of just worry about this frontier out west or east. So we'll see if I can do that. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, the baddies are attracted to pollution, Ted. That is absolutely correct. So on this map, I have it turned on because it's useful. You can click this pollution button. The red is my current pollution spread. The more I, like every machine that you create has a pollution output. Um, I think that's displayed in a tooltip. I cannot remember for sure. Yeah, pollution two per two per minute. That's four per minute on the assembly machine. Mining area, mining drills do 10 per minute. Uh, burner mining drills do 12 per minute. So some of them produce more pollution than others. But yeah, the stuff you build makes pollution. The monsters, um, the aliens are both attracted to pollution and actually grow because of the pollution. When the pollution is closer to these nests, they start expanding, making more nests, creating more bad guys. And in fact, there's a, um, a hidden statistic. There's a uh, mod to make it uh, unhidden. But there's a hidden statistic of monster evolution. So the aliens actually get stronger as like a whole hive. The more the more time and the more you kill and the more uh, just, you know, more that goes on, basically. So if you want to win the game effectively. Oh, is that somewhere there's no power? Oh my god, why do I not have power down here? There we go. Um, because the object of the game is to build a rocket ship and blast your way off the planet. Um, in order to do that, you have to make a ton of things. It's a huge, huge project. Um, and in doing so, you make a lot of pollution and kill a lot of aliens. And the more pollution you make, the more aliens you kill, the stronger they get. So by the end of the game, it's kind of a race against the clock with how fast you can get that rocket up off the ground before the aliens get so strong they overwhelm you. We need to make more power. Let's do that first. Like, it's not quite there yet, but you see the uh, production. We're over... Excuse me. We're using over half of our potential production consistently. Um... You can kind of see what's doing it, too. My angels are using a lot. Radars are, are not power um efficient at all they use a ton of juice so i want more of those yeah yeah so let's get some more so we're already set up to handle more i'll just make five of these or ten of those rather just pop them down and we'll be good to go i'm glad that when we built this power plant last week i did it in a way that was kind of all ready go ready to double production as soon as i needed it and not beforehand I might want to swap out these burner inserters to um, electric inserters. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure I want to yet. If it looks like we're starting to use more coal than they can handle, like they only move so fast. I don't think that's going to be an issue yet, but if it becomes an issue, we'll fix it. Make it faster. There we go. Cool. All right. So we have a full 20 steam engine power plant, 18 megawatts total. We're using on average right now about six. Perfect. That leaves us room to grow.
We're using a lot of iron. How's that actually going? Per minute, we're using 470 iron. We're, oh no, we're, oh, we're producing 470 iron per minute. We're consuming 600 iron per minute. Yeah, we're consuming more than we're actually making for iron. That's not ideal, obviously. But it doesn't seem to be a problem. I think it's enough steel to get us by for now. That's a lot of red belts. I like that. All right, cool. I think that's actually good for red belts. I'm going to kill this little temporary thing down here as well, because it is uh, going to be in the way. And I may regret this. I may say, boy, I still wish I had that red belt factory. Whoops. That's okay. Because what I want... I want this not to be set up like this. I, I did this dumb. Yeah, I did this really dumb. The reason I'm saying this, let me let me welcome welcome all you into my brain. The reason I'm saying I did this dumb is because I want to have as the bus continues, those are going to be electric circuits, these are going to be copper plates, those are going to be iron plates. These are all very commonly used things in the the factory later on. I want steel. I want steel plates to be the next one, steel beams. And these stupid things are in the way. So I think I don't need to like split them off. I can just say like, there we go, done. Because this stuff is useful for other things. The inserters obviously are useful. The belts are obviously useful. They're kind of the backbone of any factory and they're used to produce faster versions of each of themselves. But that's about it. They're not used in a lot of other recipes. So I'm okay with this just being like, all right, get in there. In fact, I actually might make this even better. All right, so now what I can do is I can make a steel thing, and this is not like amazingly pretty, but basically I can still have this lower line for steel, a belt, a double belt, and have that come back over here and pull steel and have a steel plant down here. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, okay, so... What's the world settings is not re not recurrent. How's it going? First of all, hi, welcome. Um, just like basic, absolutely basic. It's not death world or anything crazy like that. Um, I usually play this game with uh, about a million mods, including like angels and like dims and all and bobs, all those big, big ones. Um, so I'm playing just vanilla, basically just a couple, a couple quality of life mods. Um, so I just did a kind of normal standard world. Well, this is the start of like hour five or so of the game. Okay, so I think I want to put steel steel uh, steel plant down here. Did I blueprint that bad boy? No, of course not. It's gonna have a red belt in the middle, which I don't actually want, but that's okay. We'll fix it. Thanks for following too. Not recurrent. I, I don't know why I have such a hard time parsing your name. Um, not recurrent. I think it's like all the R's. But thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. So we finished weapon shooting speed. Let's get military science. So we can start going down that path. Just because. Uh, oh, there are biters. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, they're up here. We've got a little uh, northern wall defense to protect against these nests. The south is just kind of hanging out. I am more worried about the east over here since we're pushing our bus this way. Um, and they're kind of probing, probing the wall from time to time. Like velociraptors, kind of see what the weaknesses are. But we're doing okay so far. Okay. I don't want to... 
So here's what I'm kind of thinking. I think I want kind of like here. The problem is, no matter where I put it, I'm not going to be happy with it. So might as well just rip that bandaid off. Uh, this is okay. Here we go. I don't want to research this yet because I don't have steel or bricks at a production level that I'm happy with, which we're working on right now. So that's what we need. We need inventory. We always need inventory. Do I just do this? Do I just say like here? I mean, yeah, I'm not going to be happy no matter where I put it. But I'm not using this space really otherwise. I hate it. I hate it already. <laughs> okay. We can go that, bring that back down to normal size. I think I want to split it more or less right away. Just so we have a bigger buffer. God, I wish I had robots. See, that's another mod that I usually play with, is the start with robots. This is kind of a little basic set of a portable construction, uh, a portable um, roboport. Some construction zone, drones, just have those little guys do everything for you. Uh, the oil, there is oil somewhere. Uh, nope, there's not. I lied. Yeah, uh, I'm going to worry about that probably later. <laughs> I, I didn't even re-roll the map. I just started it. I had stone, coal, iron, copper. I said, hey, great. And I completely forgot about oil. So I got uranium, uranium down here. Yeah, I'll figure out the oil when it, <laughs> when it comes time to do that. But I don't know. We'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Oh, it's right there. Oh, there's oil up here. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, look at that. That's a good start. Okay, cool. See, we solved that problem. I need more of those. Yeah, it's not like immediately nearby, but I'm glad that it's not too far away. Oh, one short. It changed something from the last time I played. Before you could drag belts like kind of um, parallel. Can't do that anymore. Like before you used to be able to go essentially like that, but I'm so bad at clicking that I can't even do it right. Which is nice. It actually helps with belt placement, but not when I want to make like a bus really fast, but that's okay. Okay, so coal's on the inside and iron's gonna be on the outside. I don't need this there, we can take that out. Steel output on the inside. All right, cool. So this is iron and iron. This is this is gonna screw up my whole, my whole everything, I just know it, that's fine. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm already I'm already failing at this. Okay, let's do one of these. Rude. Okay. I want this to be a fast one, and then then we can be we can be fine with everything else for now. I know everything's gonna be upgraded eventually. It's probably not even correct or efficient, but that's what we're dealing with. Okay, so now, oh boy, we really just need a ton more iron, don't we?
I probably need more coal too. We'll do that next. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, right there. Good enough. Okay. Um, we don't have military science being produced yet, which we will probably want soon. Yes. Okay. So now, now what's the deal with you here? You are making one of these per second. You're not getting a iron plates fast enough is that is that your problem it is how about now oh you're doing great now perfect okay cool in an ideal world this this little mini factory has blue here as well actually should this be blue also we're making one per second if we have four of those we only need 0.4 per second these should be blue i think what happens if I do that? We can make all four of those four. Four of those four. All four of those blue. Then we're only using 0.6 per second. This is creating one per second. All right, yes. Give me three more of those. Yeah, I need stone production. Okay, so after we finish that steel, let's get stone up. I need to start carrying gears around my pocket, too. Oh, yeah, this is going to start making these guys mad. I need to start thinking about this, too. Not yet. Okay, so... Yeah. I didn't, I didn't do this right. What am I trying to do? I'm losing my brain again. Yeah, because that goes like that. There it is. This is like so unnecessary, but it's fine. It's my factory, damn it. Take those, take those, go. Okay, cool. I usually play with the loader mods, too. So you can just use loaders on belts just to throw things directly into machines, which is, like, totally cheating. <laughs> but really convenient. Sometimes I play with uh, Factorissimo, where you can put factories inside factories. Because, yo, dog, I heard you like factories. All right, cool. So now we are going to have exactly what I wanted, which is steel here on this section of the bus, right below electronic circuits, and then right below copper and iron with room for expansion. I have uh, 16 of these. So we have <laughs> one steel plate per second. You, you, you love to see it. Wow. Okay. God, I forgot how long steel plates took. Okay, so now I think I already set up the ghost for this one. For stone bricks. Already planned ahead for here. So I think I'll just finish building this. And then we'll have stone bricks ready to go. Then maybe the next thing I do is uh, ooh, get more more belts, upgrade this car co or coal line. I don't know. It's it's only saturated right here before the splitter, so I think I can take more here because we're getting full. We're not using that much coal, <laughs> which is a very dangerous thing to say. Um, oh, 
yeah. You love to see it. There you go. Yeah, we're, we're doing fine on coal so far, but that's obviously not going to stay true. Programmable speaker. Oh, that's cool. It's like the uh, the note blocks in Minecraft. That's cool. I like that. You're still chugging away here. All right. I needed belts. I, I wandered over here. I'm like, yeah, everything looks good. Um, <laughs> completely forgot why. Let's just go eat these belts. Um, nom, 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 nom. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I still have, I have science in my pocket. Okay, so actually, I can look at this. I have nine labs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need 0.72 of each per second. You four are making not enough. And that means you four are almost certainly making not enough. Oh, yeah, not even close. Okay. All right, that's fine. Science is kind of stagnant right now. That's totally okay, because we're we've researched past what we can actually like effectively make use of. So I'm totally fine if science kind of just slows for a little bit. Cause I'm not I'm not prepared for the next couple steps anyway. <laughs> okay, so we need splitter there. Oh. Yeah, that's fine, because I can do one of these. That'll be stone. I need another one of those. That'll be stone. So, go ahead. Um, you are 16 stone furnaces. I did not save any blueprints from previous games. Um, that's accurate, um, mostly because I usually play like heavily modded games, so most of my blueprints would have stuff that's I don't have in this game, <laughs> or would be for purposes like um, in the Angels mod suite, like the way that you make iron, for example, is a super long multi-step process instead of just like put the iron in a furnace. Um, so my blueprints that would be most useful would be for stuff like that. So I'm more or less starting over. Because um, I think the last time I played just vanilla-ish, Factorio was several patches ago. So I don't even know. And on a different computer too. That's fine. I like kind of rediscovering stuff. Some of the some of the ways that I liked to configure stuff, I just have remembered. And others I'm figuring it out again for the first time over. Which is fun. Okay, so we have 16. There's 16 of these. We need 10 per second. We're making 5 per second. Gross. That's fine. Oh, also gross. Okay, cool. Four of you is making two per second. We need 10, which is, oh, tw gonna be 20 of these, yeah. Okay. All right, so we need a lot more. We always need more mining drills, feels like. Engine unit, all right, cool. All right, mm, sorry, Bellatrix, you're in the way. I can't see. <clears throat> there we go. 
Let's start that. It's definitely not going to be ideal, but that's fine. We'll start it. Um, a better question you could have asked me was, are you not saving blueprints this game as you're rediscovering new blueprints or rediscovering old blueprints? Because that's a no. <laughs> I think I've saved one so far and I keep redoing it. I'm, I'm really bad at that. Okay. Oh, actually, that's I've saved the one that I could have used right now. It's fine. Actually, I need to. Yeah, that is correct. There we go. I should just put this on the hotbar too. The problem is every time I go to use a blueprint, I, I can't help but think to myself and often just say straight out loud, oh, I can't wait to get robots. Cause that's, that's all it means to me. Just, I throw it on the blueprint and then just kind of wait and then nothing happens. And it's like, oh, fine. I'll do it myself. Save the splitter. Hmm, this is pretty much done though. So let's just kind of do that. That's fine. All right. It's saying, hey, you can do trains. Cool. Trains will be very, very cool later. I need to make more. I don't have any iron. All right. Great. How's our iron looking? Cool. Actually, it looks pretty saturated. We're not using it. What happened? Is it? Oh, because I'm not doing science. Production, consumption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still consuming more than we're using. Great. Oh, but look at that stone. What I said, I need 10 stone per second. These guys make two. Okay, so I need 20, one, two, three, four, that's eight, 11, 15, we need five more. Uh, let's just, let's be smart about stuff. Steel smelting is a one-to-one -one ratio with iron plate smelting, so there's a cool smelting design with double furnace lanes directly inserting from one line to the other. I think I've seen that before. Um, I don't know. I'll probably look it up. Or just continue to do it wrong. But if you have, yeah, if you have prints that you like, I wouldn't mind seeing them. Um, okay, so I need this stone over here. And that's all the belts. And that stone I'm going to bring down here. This is, so here's the problem with, <laughs> with just how I am with this game. I tried really hard to have like this organized bus. Oh, that needs to be repaired. As this organized bus, you know, everything coming in, all my resources go up, get produced, go back down onto the bus, that whole thing. But then do shit like this where it's like spaghetti, they like bring it in, um, which is fine. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be whatever. 
Okay. So, what this tells me here... Um, oh, yeah, I think they are disabled. And I don't know how to turn that on. Let me see something real fast. <laughs> aha, aha, aha. All right, all right, all right. All right, not recurrent. That should work. Um, okay, so what this tells me here is that this needs a buddy. This guy right here, he needs a friend because for some reason they really want to get in right here. This is the first time that the wall's been damaged, it looks like. Yeah, all these other walls are great, which means they get killed before they touch them. But right here, they've touched the walls, which we will not allow. And I think it's probably because of is it the, the steam engines, perhaps? I don't know. I don't know. Are you making pollution? It doesn't say you're making pollution. It doesn't matter. So we're gonna we're gonna split the difference here. Is that equidistant? No. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so well. Man, now I just want to redo the whole thing, and I hate that so much. I think I'm going to. That's the problem. That's the problem right now. Um, yeah, Twitch DMs is fine. So, I think I want to do... That's our distance. Or do I want another turret? So basically that can mean I could do it again. Yeah, we want we want that. Okay. I remember when they added the copy paste feature. Oh, absolute game changer. Before you had to actually like make a blueprint, plunk down the blueprint, blueprint, and then you'd be stuck with this blueprint item in your inventory. But now you just literally copy paste. You can cut. It's 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 pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet a thing. Okay. Hmm. 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 Oops. Shush. 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 Okay, so yeah, I'm happy with this better now. This feels like a lot of turrets, but we're gonna need them. We're gonna need it. This, oh, god damn it. This would have been a great opportunity for me to probably push upwards. I have the walls. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna do that real fast. I'm gonna grab every other turret again. A handful of turrets. Let's make a few more. Yeah. Because, yeah, I'm going to push up. Okay, great. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. We're going to go right here. Oops. Yeah, I like this better. I like this a lot better. Oh, that's perfect. That's just beautiful. I don't like this. I need to clear those out. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's going to be fine. All right, 
I know that's not done yet, but I'm going to go salvage down here and then go build back up there. And actually, we don't need these two anymore either. Yeah, this is a more efficient choke point that we're defending now. Oh, that's a ton of ammo. Uh, I want to get turrets up first, and then I'll salvage the rest of the wall. Because the wall is going to take longer to dismantle. Because I don't have robots yet. Automated rails done. Let's just keep making rail stuff, even though it'll probably be a while before I get around to actually constructing and playing with trains. Trains won't be tonight, that's for sure. Next week, likely. The thing is also, like, I don't really have a current need for trains. As fun as they are. I probably won't need to do trains until I do the oil. And even then, I just... I'm more likely to just expand up and pipe it down, but we'll see. All right, Sissy, you're right in front of both monitors, which means I can't even see on the small Twitch monitor. Okay. Yeah, so I like that better. Ooh, ooh, oh shit, that's a lot. That's not that many. How we doing? How we doing? That's beautiful. Oh, that's, that's mint. That's good, huh? You don't care. She doesn't care. Go on. You don't care about my wall, sissy, so you don't get to sit up here. They did get a little close, but you know what? I think it's good. Yeah. One thing I will do is just kind of juice them up with some more ammo. And I might double the wall, too. Like, just in case. I've, I think I've been pretty good about noticing when they're being attacked and responding if I need to. But I've got the walls. I might as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, I want to get oil. I want to get to oil. I want to get to flamethrowers. I want to really set up my defenses here. Uh, yeah, let me take a look at that not recurrent. I do I think I remember how to import blueprints. Hey, there you are. Uh, it's been a while since I think I've... Uh, it's better not be, better not be a virus. Um, it's been a while since I've net decked. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, okay. Oh, I see that. All right. There we go. <laughs> um, okay. So, ah, I see. So iron and coal go on on the outside belt using the splitters to get on either side of the belt. So then those furnaces each grab an iron and a coal, boom, boom, pop them into the, uh, oh, actually, so coal's on the inside there because that basically has um, the ability to have one coal line going, well, I guess you have originally had like that. So one coal line going down there, getting split onto that side that then splits up to the top there. Iron on that one as well. So iron, coal on the outside. Coal and... So coal then gets split into that middle line there. And then using the long and the short, each of the, the inner furnaces grab the coal. And then using long and short, they output the steel. And they grab the coal. All right, yeah. yeah or the steel from the other one. Hey, that's cool. Hey, that's coal. All right, actually, that um, that's super great. Did that save it? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I like that. Okay, so yeah.
that would be good for that steel thing that I just built because then I don't have to use my main iron ore line. I can just kind of, or my iron plate line, I can just set up new iron ore, which was, is, you know, was kind of the plan always. This was more like, you know, I'll just start making steel. So that's cool. I like that. Oh my God, this takes so long to take apart. I'm gonna say it again. Take a drink, everyone. I wish I had robots. <laughs> All right, we're running out of things to research. We can actually probably do this and then upgrade all those. How are we doing? Doing great. Oh, one thing I didn't do is throw a radar up here. Oh, that's a problem. I I don't I don't want that. I want to be able to see what's going on there. Oh no, I didn't mean to make ah uh, shit. I can save blueprints without using in inventory space. Is that this? No. Blueprint book. I don't know. I I thought I remember that. I know I can make a book and collect them. I don't remember how to do that. Um, I've got like close to 2000 hours in this game, and most of them were pre pre that. <laughs> um, oh, blueprints. That's right. Most of them were pre copy paste, pre like this blueprint thing, pre import blueprints. Like I, I played this game a lot several years ago. So cool. thank you for reminding me of that. That's great, because now I can just do this. And there they are. Appreciate that. Okay, so I uh, don't. I'm just kind of researching now. Oh yeah. Oh god, I completely forgot what I was doing, who I was, why I am. We need. We need power. I have a cattail directly in the line of what I'm doing. Can't see a thing. There it is. I'm just gonna mark everything and see. Okay. Yeah, back in my day, you couldn't even drag electrical poles. You do this, you just put them all down all at once. Which is just, there's so many little, I. that's one of the things I, as a whole, let me finish one of these sentences. As a whole, I don't care for the early access model of video games with several notable exceptions and it really all comes down to the company making the game typically in my opinion in my experience um if it's like a triple a big game title big game company doing early access buy it now play it now it's not even out yet that means this game probably sucks it's probably always gonna suck and they want your money now on the promise of good because it's never going to be good and they won't get your money otherwise. I'm sure there's exceptions to that. That's just the general feel I have about that. But when it's a smaller company, an indie game, Factorio was in beta for so long. And it was a fully fleshed out amazing game for that entire time, basically. I forgot my original point that I was saying. Um, but yeah, like this game was, was amazing from the start and it only got better. That's what I was saying. One of my favorite things about playing indie games, I knew we'd get there. Indie games that are in early access is that you can see them evolve and progress. And they are, especially games that allow mods. Oftentimes the mods will fill in the holes and be like, okay, so the, these mods are making this easier, this easier, this easier, quality of life change here, quality of life change there. Um, and eventually the base game will start to add those in too. I think that's really cool. Like stuff like the, the copy paste features, one of those, it's like the quality of life that got added in and, um, you know, one of the patches recently. And it's just stuff like that, that I really like seeing games innovate, um, a good example of a big game that, that did that is I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft um, and they very early on started integrating. Oh, not too early on. It was like Wrath of the Lich King or so. 
but started integrating in a lot of the popular mods, like for for like raid help, and I didn't raid at all, but like you know the little health bars and stuff like that that the raid mods had to let you really, you know, waste your entire life um, that much more efficiently. The base game started adding into, so that's that's a good example of a larger game adding that in. I don't like paying for for triple A early access, so I don't know. It's just no good. Oof. Okay, all right. So this this is useless now. Let's kill this. No, stop, stop, stop throwing coal everywhere. Thank you. Oh, I don't have any belts. Whoa. Wow. So before I use that that really nice steel production blueprint that not recurrent said to us sent to us, I need another source of iron, I believe, because I've got this one almost fully tapped with miners and it's not that big to begin with. I think I need that. Oh, yeah, I need that. 2.5 million. Okay, okay. But here's the thing. My arm's killing me. Um, I got the, uh, the booster vaccine today, and it is starting to smart. So um, instead of going on a break, I'm actually going to call it for tonight. Um, I know it's a little early, but I'm sorry. Um... I'll be back on Thursday to play Hard Space Shipbreaker again because I love that game. It's so good. It's so good. Um, and we'll try not to blow ourselves up, but no promises. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great night. Thank you so much for tuning in. Not Recurrent, thank you so much for that blueprint. Thanks for following. Um, any other new viewers tonight? Thank you. Um, glad to have you here. Um, yeah, hope everyone has a great night, and I'll be back on Thursday. And then next Tuesday, and actually, oh, next Monday, um, things have changed a bit. Next Monday, it'll be more Factorio, so I'll be back on this next week. We'll get trains. We'll get better steel. We'll get uh, better furnaces. we got some goals. we got some good goals. But yeah, until then, good night, everyone. Thank you.